sure they did not get the same attention as the top of the ticket races, but some interesting results from a number of statewide ballot initiatives. Yeah, measures from same-sex marriage to tax hikes to marijuana use now taking center stage. Nicole Collins breaks it all down. Tuesday night may have been a big night for the president, but in Colorado, people cheering a long-awaited move to legalize recreational marijuana use. 80 years ago, we repealed alcohol prohibition in this state, and we're doing the same thing when it comes to marijuana. Voters approving Amendment 64, allowing adults over the age of 21 to possess 28 grams of pot and privately grow up to six marijuana plants. Four other states also had marijuana proposals on their ballots. Washington State passed a similar law, but Oregon's attempt failed. We are happy here in Colorado. We're going to send a message around the world that marijuana prohibition has failed and it's time for a new direction. Across the country, 38 states weighing in on more than 170 measures, shaping the social and sorry, moral sorry, fabric of the nation. In Maine and Maryland, voters approving ballot initiatives to begin allowing same-sex unions. The move rejected in Minnesota, but garnering much support in Washington state. Jubilation, and finally, we've got so justice for all of us. Measures like requiring ungenetically modified foods, support for schools, and sales taxes also considered in this election. State officials now bracing for a showdown with the federal government to see if many of the measures can really take hold. Voters in Alabama, Wyoming, and Montana approving propositions to prevent people from being required to purchase health insurance, an indication of one major challenge President Obama may face in his second term. In Washington, Nicole Collins, Fox News. With respect to her, she phrased that kind of funny. The initiative in Minnesota was to ban same-sex marriage, and it failed, so it's a victory for gay rights advocates. Mm. So it was kind of four for four for them tonight. Good back clarification. To the, yeah, back to the pot for a second. As you just heard, two states voted in favor of legalizing recreational marijuana. Would you support a measure like that in Wisconsin? Our Facebook fans weren't shy on the matter. Brian Farno writes, legalize it, tax it, and use that money to help this country get out of debt. Ryan Moss said, I hate pot personally, but I think it's a legitimate source of medicinal use and could be a phenomenal source of tax revenue. And Shannon Trapman added, it is time to thoroughly research and openly discuss the numerous benefits of this plant. What do you think? Join our conversation. We'd like to hear what you hear on the Fox 6 News Facebook fan page. A lot of the comments were, wait, what? What are we talking about again? What? Okay. Wow. Wow. No breaks from Mother Nature out east. Another storm is on the horizon. How people are preparing for this next storm while still cleaning up from Hurricane Sandy. Janesville's native son will not be vice president, not yet anyway, what some of Paul Ryan's neighbors are saying the day after the election.